Spitting is a common action taken when sick and congested to release backed up mucus. When spitting, however, aerosols can form which can cause rapid spreading of bacterial and viral infections. Influenza, for example, has been shown to have a high transmission through aerosols. By explaining the fluid phenomena, we can create a definitive answer as to the best method of spitting to minimize aerosol. We can evaluate the Reynolds number to predict fluid trajectory. The Reynolds number is a ratio of inertial forces to viscous forces and is a function of air density, dynamic viscosity, object characteristic length, and velocity. In our experiment, the characteristic length of the spit was measured as the vertical diameter and the velocity as the initial velocity from the mouth. With time, the shape of the spit projectile changed shape. The dynamic viscosity of saliva was determined using a rheometer, where the viscosity is measured as a function of shear rate. The data is split between two different viscosity trends. One group displays a higher viscosity with shear thinning saliva, while the other group displays lower viscosities resembling a Newtonian fluid. Individuals with higher Reynolds numbers have spit trajectories that would break apart faster while those with low Reynolds numbers had spit trajectories that would break apart slower. The higher Reynolds number flows indicate turbulence, which would explain why the spit particles break up and disperse more quickly. The fluid dynamics of spit and its relationship to viscosity is important because of its connection to the spreading of disease. Understanding how specific people spit may help predict how likely someone is to spread pathogenic aerosols.